Hey guys, welcome back to the Duck Hill Workshop. My name is Ben, and today we're gonna change that old Grizzly two or single stage bag filter to a canister. Why, you might ask. Isn't a dust collector a dust collector? No. This style of dust collector should really be termed a chip collector. It generates enough power to move large particles of dust. And even if it's moving the small particles of dust, it doesn't have the filtration capabilities to keep them in the filter, in the bag. Uh, especially because this is an older unit that my dad's had since the early 90s. This is most likely a 30 micron bag, which means it's only catching chips. The stuff that's really bad for you is just getting blown back into the air. And that being said, my dad bought this for his shop, which is on the other side of this wall. So he's got a, set, a barrier, but I need to use it now or we need to share it. And I don't want to be breathing in everything under 30 microns. So we're changing to this canister filter. Oh, the other thing is that, that bag only has about 30 square feet of, of filter material. This fil canister filter has 230 square feet which means an improvement in blower efficiency because it can move air through the filter faster, uh, even though it is a finer filter material. So we should actually see an improvement in suction by making this uh, retrofit. Okay, what did we do? We got this from Win Environmental. After doing research into dust collection, um, I decided one, that I don't have the money to buy a Clearview Cyclone designed by Bill Pence, and I don't have the time or patience to build my own Cyclone based on Bill Pence's designs. So this is a good first step. Someday we will eventually uh, get a Clearview system, um, something that has the power to genuinely move those, the fine dust, move and extract the fine dust. So all of the Clearview Cyclones and, and Bill Pence himself recommend using filters from Win Environmental because they are actually rated to trap the small particles that they say they're going to trap. They come with a, a, a MERV 15 rating, uh, which should trap like 99.997% of 0.5 micron material. And we'll see. Hopefully it's an improvement. I, so this is a filter. It has a removable lid. It actually goes, it's got a big foam gasket, so it goes this way, and that lid clamps up here on top, but I don't want the gaskets to get gunked up. Um, I ordered this along with improved filters for the ambient air filter that uh, I, my brother-in-law and I hung up recently. You see that here? So that's nice, that'll catch anything, you know, that's floating around in the shop that doesn't get picked up by the dust collector. Uh, and hopefully this does the rest of the job. So what comes with this canister? The filter itself, the lid, instructions. Um, you get two new uh, clear poly bags. And then you get a little baggie of accessories, the ever important sticker, the, oh. I think this is trim gasketing just to go around the lip, the top lip of the filter, um, some extra padding material, <clears throat> these cool screw clamps. So there's big clamps for holding the filter to the dust collector, and then there's little clamps for holding the lid onto the filter. You also get screws, the mounting tabs, and the little spring backs uh, for when you drill through the screws, or the, the frame of the dust collector to install. So, that being said, let's get to it. All right, your first steps are to take off the top filter bag and its little hanger. And clean the pan out. Mine had a bunch of dust and crap on it. 
the filter is going to sit on that pan inside so it needs to be clean and free of debris now you're going to lay out where your um, your mounting tabs are going to go you got to drill holes for those uh, screw them in with a little spring blade I'll show you a better look at that here I highly recommend having enough room to work all the way around your uh, dust collector when you do this. Now you gotta put the, the clamps on. These are super handy. Uh, now obviously I'm on the struggle bus a little bit trying to figure out the best way to do this. Uh, I oriented the, uh, the drive nuts uh, up so that they're easy to access. You just hook them straight to the mesh on the filter. Careful not to damage the pleats. And you just repeat three more times. And now you gotta put the top on. It's essentially the same process. Uh, you can, I clamped the two parts together. Uh, you apparently, sometimes they ship the longer clamps with the lids and you do the same thing as you did with the bottom, just clamp to the screen. Now it's time to put the new bags on. Pro tip here, uh, use a piece of duct tape or a couple pieces of duct tape to hold the bag on while you're getting the clamp situated. All right, it's super handy too, in this scenario, being able to reuse that second clamp from the top filter. Uh, so now I have no, no area where there isn't clamp pressure. All right, there it is. I don't see any dust leaks, so I think we're good to go. Um, Important thing, this is not a paid sponsorship. They didn't send me any of this for freezies or I paid for all of this. This is my decision to upgrade to have better uh, air filtration and separation in the shop. Next steps <clears throat> um, is actually going to be to retrofit this into some kind of two-stage separator. Um, I'm not going to put a ton of work in, or money into doing that but I would like to work on making potentially a Thielen baffle and figuring out a better way. Um, I've seen a couple cool things about how to retrofit like a lid and a, a bucket underneath these two stage or single stage um, units. The other thing that we can do is we can remove the motor and blower from, um, from the, the pedestal here and we actually mount it, either create a, a wall plate on the cart or mount it to the wall and angle it so that the blower blows directly into um, this midsection here without hose. Uh, and then you're able to create a scenario where you can create a, a, a two-stage separator. Might not be a true like vortex like Bill Pence's um, or the Oneida or the Oneida dust deputies or any of those, but anything certainly to filter out the big chips helps. So. I'm giving it a two thumbs up. There are different things you can do. You can check out Stumpy Nubs. They're the ones who I saw this retrofit through the first time. Uh, and they've also gone through and done the all the Clearview and Bill Pent Cyclones. They actually even built their own Cyclone out of wood to make the funnel. That's kind of nuts. They have videos on how to make the Thielen Baffle, how to make this a two-stage separator and some stuff about that. So, yeah. Until next time. Hey guys. Before you leave, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, leave us a comment. Tell us what you thought of this project. Uh, tell us what you'd like to see next, other shop things. Um, and I would really appreciate it if you've enjoyed all of our content, if you've liked and subscribed to videos, and have a buck or two to spare, click on that Patreon link and you know drop us a tip. I would really appreciate that. It helps the channel. It helps our business survive. Uh, these strange times. So, thank you.